Hello everybody and welcome to another Battlefield video. Today we will be talking a little bit about the game and my thoughts and impressions on the beta and uh, what I think the game should probably change or add to make the game a bit better. So let's start with some of my impressions. I will say that the gunplay in this game is god damn it feels so good. I really like the gunplay of this game, some people don't like it. The one thing about the gunplay that I don't really like is the upgrade system and the attachments. It's almost impossible in the middle of a match if you're playing to like like, if you unlock a new gun, you have to back out all, like, go back to the menu to get your goddamn new gun. That kind of sucks. Or even just to upgrade things or just change attachments. It's it's impossible. Actually, you can change attachments in the game, but if you're gonna get your new gun, you gotta back out. Pretty much sucks. Uh, another thing about the game is that uh, I don't really know what Battlefield is doing recently, but they're, it's like the, they're scaling down the maps. Now, this is only based on the beta, where we have Rotterdam and um, Narvik. Both maps, I feel, are, are pretty small. Uh, Narvik has planes, and if you're flying a bomber, you basically just fly in circles to try to bombard your target. You don't really have a lot of airspace to fly in, which is a bit annoying uh, when 90% uh, of the main playable area for infantry is covered by anti-air guns and the Germans have a ridiculously good fighter, uh, the BF-109, which kicks ass. Another problem so far that I have with the game really is that it feels a bit weird. The squad system is very hard to use. I mean, it's four people and I was trying to play with some uh, friends. We were six people or something and it was almost impossible to get in the same game it was such a struggle i really wish that ea or dice decided to go back to like a higher squad tally uh, because i feel like that would be a bit better uh, so if you're playing with more people or maybe they should make it so that you can customize how big your squad should be like in the older games where you could make a squad people could join you, you could just lock it so you'd have three people that's fine you've locked the squad no more people will join that kind of stuff i don't know why they locked it at four people it's kind of hard if you're more than four people to play at the same game but um, Oh well, what can you do? I have noticed one thing though, that this is probably not that, you know, surprising, but there's a lot of uh, assets reused from Battlefield 1. When I've played the game, I've seen a lot of rubble and debris that looks very similar from Battlefield 1, but I don't really mind that, to be honest. The, d the new destruction on some of the houses, like, holy shit, it's pretty damn good. It gives me, like, the feeling of Bad Company 2, on, like, the destruction level, and I fucking love that. It's bloody amazing. Other than the destruction that is on the map, uh, the general feel of the game is a lot better. But some of the customization screens, like if you go to your company, it's it's so it's so like it's I don't know just I don't understand what the hell they did. They just made it like a it's it's on PC for God's sake. You don't need huge squares to click on. Like oh that's the part and yet sniper uh, and that's the tank. And I don't really understand why they're having such a weird customization system for vehicles and weapons in general. You get a currency, you buy. I mean, I would sort of expect that you could play with a gun and you could unlock the things that that gun could get on it by playing and using that gun. Because the currency is limited, so technically, if you want to upgrade your gun and get camouflage on one gun, you might spend all your currency doing that, and then you can't get any upgrades for the tank you've just leveled, like, five levels. And also, one thing I really don't like is that they have these, like, quote-unquote skill trees. You'll see it here with the shotgun. But this is for every weapon and vehicle in the game, where you basically choose a path where you want to go down for different buffs or, you know, abilities with the gun. It's really, it's really weird. Uh, but what I don't understand about it is that why didn't they just make an attachment system to replace that? Basically, like, you know, if you had a sawed-off barrel on your shotgun, it would have bigger spread but higher damage up close or something like that. Like, w w where has the attachments gone? The only attachments you can get now are scopes and camouflages. And that's not- and camouflage isn't really attachment, is it? It's cosmetics. Uh, the quote-unquote attachments now are upgrades, which I don't understand. I, I don't get it. I don't get why they would split it off like that. Like. You know, Battlefield 1, instead of doing the Battlefield 1 way, where Battlefield 1 had like three different shotguns that was the same shotgun but with different modifications, this time they have removed the different versions of the weapon, but they've just added a skill tree you could go down instead, which I find really goddamn confusing. I do think in general though that the game has a possibility to play really well. I have found it really enjoyable. The gameplay is really fun, in my own opinion of course. Uh, you have to try it for yourself. The beta ends at the 11th, so tomorrow actually. So I'd recommend you to give it a go right now before it ends so you can actually see how it is. I couldn't recommend a pre-order. Um, I can't recommend the pre-order because I feel like currently there's too many things that I find wrong to justify a pre-order for anybody else. I can't really recommend the game. For myself, I think I can find it quite fun. The gameplay, the gunplay, the vehicles, like the tanks especially, feels really good in this game. And I really love the tanks. Uh, the only downside about the tanks really is that I, I don't like the upgrade system there either. I wish they just went back to like a attachment 
Ultimate System, you could say. It feels a lot better that way. So overall, I'd say that I do like the Battlefield 5 beta, uh, but I do think that the game in general has a lot of problems, and we haven't really seen everything it has to offer. Apparently, in the finished game, you can drag bodies around, and I think that would be pretty cool to see what happens. The attrition system is a bit too heavy at the moment, I feel. You spawn with very little magazines, like two magazines and that's it. Uh, other than that, I feel like the game has potential, so definitely keep your eyes on it. Uh, definitely look out for a review or something like that. Uh, anyways, if you liked the video, put a like on it, subscribe if you haven't already, share it with everybody you goddamn know, and thank you so much to all the new people that have joined the channel. I'm the Turtle, and I'll see you in the next video. And yeah, goodbye.